Hello there. Over the weekend, we saw a bevy of political policies drop from the parties who would like to stay in Parliament. We saw Labour announce transport plans for the Waitamata Harbour, which was tunnels. A lot of tunnels. We saw the Greens put out another fully costed policy, this time around free dental care. They're doing really well in putting out fully costed policies, whereas something like the National Party is not. And I don't see much in the media about that. It seems kind of weird. And then ACT put out a policy which would crash and burn the economy in ways that are probably incredibly unimaginable at the moment, all in the name of saving about a billion dollars in operating costs. It's really kind of scary, some of the stuff that I've suggested. So, for example, they want to halve the number of people working at MBIE immediately. This is the organization that has a lot to do with a lot of different things, including immigration. They're in charge of immigration. We have record immigration numbers coming into the country at the moment. They want to halve the amount of people working on that. This is also the organization that's designed to make sure we can fill in those gaps with our skills shortages in places like the health and education sectors. Suddenly you don't have the resources to be able to do that, which means what for us long term? One of the ways that you can fill those skills gaps though is to get people out there studying, but they're also looking at getting rid of fees-free tertiary study, which 50,000 people took up in 2021. 50,000 people stepped into starting their training, getting a foot on the ladder without the burden of student loans, which is really important. They also want to do things like try and cull the screen sector, which is worth $3.5 billion to the New Zealand economy. It's worth the same as forestry. They want to get rid of the game sector subsidies that have been announced in this year's budget. That's a sector that's worth more to us now than the wool industry. And it is the fastest growing entertainment sector in the world. New Zealand's industry grew 49% between 2021 and 2022, and it brought in something like $400 million to the economy. The space sector that they want to cut, $1.7 billion into the New Zealand economy. They also want to get rid of things like uh, fair pay agreements. So they want to make sure that the most vulnerable workers do not have the tools there to be able to get fairer results, fairer pay, and fairer work conditions. They also want to get rid of things like Hewaka Waka Eka Noa, which is the government plan to try and reduce greenhouse emissions from farms. Farms make up 50% of New Zealand's total greenhouse gas emissions. Trying to find a way to minimise that is a good thing to do. Yeah, sure, you've got places like Groundswell who don't like it, but what the hell do they like? It's terrible. They want to get rid of things like research and development grants and organisations like Te Ara Pairangi and Vision Matauranga, who have had some amazing successes, but they work really closely with Māori organisations to try and find ways to get them to do better, to have a wider reach, and to be successful. And there's a few policies here that are designed very specifically like that. Like, for example, the Provincial Growth Fund, which is in its early days, but early findings are showing that it's helping build relationships and working models between iwi, councils, and government. And that is really important. Because if you've got everybody at loggerheads, nothing gets done. These policies feel like they're trying to make a quick buck, making the government run like a business. Government is not a business. It's not there to make a profit. It is there to do something that works for the entire country. And hobbling the economy in ways that most people don't think affects them, but absolutely does, is not the way to go about it.